I will be reviewing acetaminophen poisoning. At the conclusion of this video, the nurse should be able to identify the appropriate care for a client diagnosed with acetaminophen poisoning. Let's begin with the symptoms or the assessment of a client with acetaminophen poisoning. During the first two hours, you can see nausea, vomiting, pallor, hypothermia, a slow, weak pulse. During the latent period, which is one to one and a half days after the poisoning, symptoms may abate. If no treatment is received, there could be hepatic involvement, and you will see right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, confusion, stupor, and coagulation abnormalities. The diagnostic test that you will be looking at will show the liver and kidney function. For nursing care with the client with acetaminophen poisoning, you want to induce vomiting, maintain hydration and keep strict INO, monitor liver and kidney function, and administer an antidote. Here's the practice question. Which is the antidote for acetaminophen overdose? 1. Acetylcysteine 2. Naloxone 3. Syrup of Ipecac, or 4. Bisacodyl Number 1 is the correct answer, acetylcysteine. Client with an overdose of acetaminophen should be given acetylcysteine, which is also called mucamist, which is the antidote. Naloxone is used for opiate overdose. 3. Syrup of Ipecac in the past was used to induce vomiting, but is not often used anymore. And 4 is used for constipation.